everybody how are you all doing welcome hopefully you've had a nice Sunday so far it's the long weekend out here so I'm guessing you've all been on long drives and made it in time for this amazing show so welcome to the next episode of Sydney social life a one-of-its-kind thought-provoking talk show where we put the spotlight on harsh hidden realities of modern society. Harsh realities that a lot of people are struggling with, but unfortunately are not talking about these things. And the purpose of this show is to spark important conversations, promote empathy, and foster a community that values genuine connections. So friends, today I have with me a very, very special guest, and I'm going to introduce her in a moment. I just want to make sure audio is clear. So we will just wait for a few moments to check if the audio is clear because there's no point us having this amazing conversation if you can't hear us. So if you can just pop in the comments if you can hear, that will be awesome. Just let us know if you can hear me before I pass the mic over to Bebhavi. Is audio clear? Okay, so I'm guessing that audio is clear and let's get started. So we have with us our special guest, the amazing Vaibhavi Zoshi. And Vaibhavi wears many, many hats as you all, many of you already know. So in her full-time workspace, she is an IT professional. But besides that, she does wear a multitude of hats. She is a writer, a motivational speaker, a social activist, a professional host and MC, and she does a lot of amazing work in the community space. So welcome, Vaibhavi, to Sydney Social Life. Thank you so much, Neem. It's absolutely a pleasure to be in your show. And like, let me tell one thing before we even get into the fabulous conversation is like, even though she mentioned that, yes, I'm a writer or motivational speaker, but let me reveal one secret before even we start, that when, when a people like us who motivate others, when we feel down, I look to Neem's post. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That is very sweet. So shall we get started? Absolutely. I'm sure people are also looking forward to it. Yes. And guess what? We have some amazing topics in store for you. And I'm sure that you all will resonate with these topics. So, Vaibhavi, I want to start with a topic that I've been thinking about and writing about for a very, very long time. I have seen that many times when we go to social events, ko jate hai, and people are seeing someone after a long time, like six months later, one year later, someone is getting the first thing they do is they comment on that person's outward appearance. Yes. Jaise ki, oh, kitni moti ho gayi hai. You've put on so much weight. Almost as though un chhe menu mein that person has done nothing else other than putting on weight. Right? So I'm sure that that person has achieved a lot of wonderful things. But the first thing they think about is outward appearances. So aapko iske baare mein, what would you like to say? I think like we have started with bingo because like yes a person like me मैं इतनी सारी मतलब social events में जहाँ पे मुझे जाना होता है and yes you are absolutely right the first thing people notice despite like what you have achieved in those like last six months or you have you have probably won some awards or you have received some certificates राड़ी रा but then the first thing they have to comment is as you said oh मोटी हो गई या इवन वाइस वर्सा ओ यू लॉस्ट अ वेट यू नो तो ये यस आई हैव सीन दैट एब्सोल्युटली कि लोग आपको मतलब सबसे पहले जज करते हैं एंड द वेरी नेक्स्ट थिंग दे मूव ऑन टू इज मतलब हाँ जैसे ही उनको आंसर मिल गया कि वेदर यू हैव पुट ऑन और वेदर यू हैव लॉस्ट एंड ऑल देन अगेन लाइक यू नो योर आउटर अपियंस की लाइक अगर लेडीज है तो साड़ी के ऊपर चले गए यूजली आई मीन साड़ी तो ये कहाँ से लिया गहने एंड ऑल दैट यू नो सो आउटर अपियरेंस matters i don't know still why um in the society it matters a lot mm. but yes it does or mai to usse bhi aage ek cheez aapse share karungi nim which quite often personally happens with me mm. ki uh, aksar jab bhi log mujhe forget about 6 month ya year whatever whenever someone like jab mujhe milte hain to they are like 
तुम अपने बालों को कलर क्यों नहीं करती हो बिकॉज आई स्टिल लाइक वेयर दैट सॉल्ट एंड पेपर लुक आई कैरी विद मी ऑल द टाइम एंड यू कैन प्रिटी मच से दीज आर माई मर्चिंग हेयर और बॉर्न नेचुरल हेयर मैंने लाइफ में कभी अपने बालों के साथ कुछ नहीं किया एंड दैट्स एब्सोल्युटली माई चॉइस बट यस दैट्स अ वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दे आर लाइक एज इफ कि उसके बगैर जैसे मुझे बाहर निकलना नहीं चाहिए यू you नो know? कि लाइक यू शुड एटलीस्ट लुक प्रेजेंटेबल एज इफ लाइक अगर मेरे बाल सफेद है तो आई एम नॉट लुकिंग प्रेजेंटेबल यू नो तो इट बॉट इज मी अलॉट ये ये बाल धूप में सफेद नहीं हुए बिल्कुल यू वीव अर्न द रिंकल्स वीव अर्न द ग्रे हेड एंड शायद पीपल फर्गेट दैट यस बट यू नो वेर वी गुड पॉइंट एंड वेन आर सॉर्ट ऑफ पुट दैट क्वेश्चन आउट टू पीपल कि ऐसा क्यों a lot of people are at a loss what to ask mm-hmm. as a first question that's, that's why the right. first thing that they stri- uh, strikes them is about the weight also you mentioned that uh, people talk about oh you've lost weight now i also believe that that is not necessarily a compliment correct for a lot of people right? yes absolutely kyunki kabhi kya hota hai ki jaise maan lo ki jaise people like me jisko thyroid hai for example to jaise bahut sare log jante hain ki do tarike ke thyroid hote hain ek mein you keep on putting and ek mein you keep on losing right तो इट्स नॉट लाइक जैसे हर किसी को खुशी नहीं होती है सुन के बिकॉज यू डोंट नो व्हाट दी अदर पर्सन इज गोइंग थ्रू दे आर प्रोबेबली लूजिंग वेट आउट ऑफ नो चॉइस या क्या पता दे आर गोइंग थ्रू सम प्रोबेबली हेल्थ इश्यूज और कुछ लाइक देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स वे यू आर लूजिंग लाइक पता नहीं जैसे डायबिटीज है आई डोंट नो बट लाइक देर आर मेनी थिंग्स जिसमें यू कीप ऑन लूजिंग योर वेट सो यू राइटली सेड नॉट ऑलवेज इट्स नेसेसरी कि भाई लाइक यू नो हाँ मैं खुश हो जाऊँ बिकॉज आई एम गेटिंग दैट कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू नो एंड वाई इवन आई क्रेव फॉर दैट ऑल्सो वी नीड टू फोकस मोर ऑन फिटनेस आई थिंक क्योंकि बींग यू नो और नॉट ऑफ अ कन्वेंशनल वेस्ट साइज डजेंट मीन यू आर नॉट हेल्दी करेक्ट राइट दैट कुड बी पीपल हु आर शेप डिफरेंटली बट दे आर फिट बट आर ऑब्सेशन इज यू नो विद बींग अ सॉर्ट एंड मैंने एक आर्टिकल भी लिखा था कि पीपल आर मोर कंसर्न विद श्रिंकिंग दे वेस्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ एक्सपैंडिंग दे माइंड्स राइट वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आई मीन इट्स गुड टू श्रिंक योर वेस्ट बट Let's also focus on expanding the mind. No, absolutely, that's true. And in fact, like, कभी मुझे ऐसा भी लगता है कि, as you said, कि when you are meeting, like after a long time, I'm sure there are plenty of things to talk about rather than the first thing you notice <laughs> is the outer appearance, right? Yes. So I think like this is something in the society and. to be honest like as we probably like uh, in a way very like minded that we we know the problems we want to focus on the solution so probably like those who can resonate with us like maybe wo bolta hai na ki shuruaat ghar se hoti hai so mm. at least like i have made sure ki whenever i am in that position where i am starting the conversation then at least like you know i do start on that outer appearance even yes. though sometimes like you know a uh, change is quite noticeable but doesn't have to be the first conversation exactly like in between pooch liya it's okay theek hai barabar so what are some questions we can ask you know if somebody is you we can ask about what you've been doing for the last few months exactly been... yeah humne like jaise aajkal to social media mein koi jo bhi kar raha hai like usually it's quite um, visible like transparency rehti hai to like agar kisi ne kuch acha kiya hai ya kisi ne kuch achieve kiya hai recently why not we talk about that absolutely, right absolutely absolutely the focus needs to shift i think yes. from outward uh, appearances because that is a very that is not a sum total of mm. who people are right yes. so friends let us know in the comments if you've also at any point mm. faced this very annoying situation where you are bumping into someone after a very long time and instead of asking you how you been what have you been doing aapko bhi kisi ne kaha ho kitni moti ho gayi hai ya kitne mote ho gaye ho it is it can get a little frustrating so we just wanted to sort of bring awareness about this in fact like in addition to that like uh, i don't want to forget one thing where quite often i have seen where if they are like say for example if they are in office or if they are coming from somewhere and if you ask them to turn up just because they are not wearing a ma- makeup they won't turn up <laughs> wow i didn't know that is that right so i don't know why like we are so much like i have to look in a certain way like for example when i am going straight from office somewhere like usually you might have seen me i'm usually in my um traditional attire but when i'm from office i'm in my that coat coat suit suit you know okay. without like zero makeup and all anyhow i'm someone probably who put on the least makeup but even then like from office mm. i'm literally the way i am mm. you know mm. so why like uh, as you rightly said we yeah. really need to shift the focus yes एंड हम जब ऑफलाइन बात कर रहे थे तो आपने ये भी कहा कि कई बार लोग यू नो इफ दे हैवेंट कलर्ड दे ग्रे हेयर माइट ऑल्सो डिक्लाइन एन इन्विटेशन एब्सोल्यूटली 
yes they don't want to turn up like if they are if they are not ready in their uh, usual appearance that they normally go out so jaise agar kisi ne baalon mein color nahi kiya hai ya if they are not wearing or agar if they are going through certain things maybe on their face like shayad kuch marks hai ya something like that good point they just yes. acne you Haan. know a lot of people get acne and that's the first thing people comment on jaise ki unke ghar mein ek to shisha nahi hai they don't have a mirror they haven't figured out they've got acne or they've put on weight guys people have mirrors they know right i'm the best example because i have thyroid and mm-hmm. even like my laser surgery got failed because because of that thyroid or picos however we say i have lot of a very hard hair mm-hmm. on my chin and underneath of my neck so then it's like literally every week task for me mm-hmm. which sometimes very annoying because even the laser surgery failed so sometimes like i just leave it yeah and it's the first thing like you know people have to comment on it mm. like that why But more power to you more power to you it takes a lot of courage because we do live in a society that is judgmental that can get a little pretentious so kudos that you are actually doing that and we need more people being comfortable in their own skin hai na so that is good uh, let's move on to our next topic this is about now we all know that webbuvi does a lot of work in the community space and many of you watching must also be a lot of community influencers people who are out there doing a lot giving back so webbuvi jab hum baat kar rahe the one point that came up in our conversation was that when you're out there you're doing so much very often you face judgment for your parenting capabilities right uh, so us pe logon ki judgment hoti hai do you want to shed some light on that हाँ ये तो मतलब दिस इज समथिंग इन अ वे लाइक अ मोस्ट अनोइंग थिंग एज वेल एज इफ लाइक एवरीबडी एल्स इज सो मच वरीड एंड कंसर्न अबाउट आर किड्स दैन द पेरेंट दैट्स अ फर्स्ट थिंग लाइक आई वॉन्ट से एंड इन फैक्ट लाइक दोज यू आर वॉचिंग मी लाइव राइट नाउ लेट मी टेल यू इवन वाइल लाइक टूडे इज संडे my husband works on एवरी संडे सो वेर एवर आई गो माई डॉटर इज विथ मी शी इज सिटिंग राइट हियर सो दैट्स अ फर्स्ट थिंग लाइक अक्सर क्या होता है नीम की um we quite often being judge ki matlab main agar itna time bahar rehti hu to who really look after my kid right to jaise ki ab jaise my daughter is 8 year old so i don't really feel like leaving her anywhere else to either she is with her dad mm. or she is with me mm. now that takes lot of management between two of us correct राइट तो इट्स क्वाइट ऑफ्टन ये ऐसा होता है कि जैसे लाइक like, मैं आपने बताया कि जैसे मैं प्रोफेशनल एम सी हूँ क्वाइट फ्यू टाइम्स आई एम होस्टिंग एन इवेंट या मैं कहीं पे क्योंकि स्पीकर हूँ तो कहीं पे टॉक दे रही हूँ या कहीं पे स्पीच चल रही है मेरी एंड ऑल दैट तो जहाँ पे शी हैज ग्रोन अप गुड इनफ दैट शी कैन सिट क्वाइटली एंड शी कैन बी इन हर ओन थिंग बट जहाँ पे मुझे लगे कि वेयर आई एम प्रोबेबली इन अ वेरी लार्ज क्राउड वेयर आई वुड बी एबल टू टेक केयर ऑफ हर तो एट दैट टाइम लाइक शी इज विथ हर डैड एंड मुझे अक्सर ये लगता है एंड दिस इज समथिंग आई रियली वॉन्ट अ शेयर विथ यू एज वेल कि एक बार ऐसा मेरे साथ ही एग्जाम्पल हुआ था कि ऐश्वर्या मजुमदार हमारी बहुत ही फेमस आर्टिस्ट है शी इज सिंगर तो वो यहाँ पे आई हुई थी एंड देन लाइक वी आई मैन टू डू हर मीट एंड ग्रीट टाइप ऑफ इवेंट नाउ दैट डे मेरी डॉटर को वॉज माइनर फीवर था तो इट वॉज लाइक यू नो हाउ मदर सा तो वी वी गेट अ बिट ऑफ लाइक पैनिक अटैक वैन एनी थिंग हैपन्स विथ आर किड्स तो आई वॉज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू यू नो कैंसर एंड ऑल दैट एंड दिस इज वेयर आई रियली वॉन्ट अ हाईलाइट कि जब दो लोगों के बीच में एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होती है हाउ योर लाइफ इज स्मूथ तो और ये मैं एज इट इज बताना चाहती हूँ वॉट माई हसबेंड टोल मी कि आई मीन शी वॉज जस्ट हैविंग प्रोबेबली यू नो द यूजल इन विंटर टाइम द यूजल कोल्ड एंड फीवर एंड ऑल नथिंग मेजर सो देन शी वॉज ही वॉज लाइक कि इसको हल्का सा बुखार है हम उसको पैनाडोल दे रहे हैं अब चाहे तुम इसके साथ रहो या मैं उसके साथ रहूँ नॉट गना मेक एनी डिफरेंस दवाई का जब असर होगा देन ओनली शी विल फील बेटर एंड देन शी विल बी लिटरली प्लेन यस ठीक है तो ही वॉज लाइक वो मुझे कन्विंस कर रहे थे कि कोई वहाँ पे तुम्हारे भरोसे पूरा इवेंट लेकर बैठा है राइट right? yeah. तो अक्सर ये जो एक सेक्रीफाइस जो हम बोलते हैं कि बच्चों के लिए सेक्रीफाइस हमेशा माँ ही क्यों करे तो उसका एग्जाम्पल उन्होंने उस दिन दिया कि यू गो मैं उसको लाइक ही नोज हाउ टू यू नो कुकिंग एंड एवरी सिंगल थिंग दैट अ लेडी कैन डू ही नोज एवरी थिंग राइट बिकॉज इट्स बीन लाइक ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वी हैव बीन ईयर वो तो मेरे से भी पहले आए थे राइट सो ही नोज एवरी थिंग तो यू वॉज लाइक कि मैं उसे खिला दूंगा दवाई दे दी है शील बी प्लेइंग विथ मी यू गो इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ लाइक टू थ्री आवर्स ओनली एंड देन यू विल बी बैक एनी वे 
right mm. so this is something now you can imagine how other women would have judged me beti ko bukhar mein chhod ke aayi you know okay. but that's not how it takes ki har yes. baar wo sacrifices mother hi kyu kare correct correct if i have balance. some command commitments yes. right yes. so it has to be balanced yes and aapne ek bahut important point you raised which is about managing your time well एंड प्रायरिटाइजेशन सो कई बार ऐसा लगता है कि आप इतना कुछ कर रहे हो तो बच्चों को कौन देख रहा है एंड इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज अबाउट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ टाइम दैट इज समन इट इज अबाउट द क्वालिटी एब्सोल्यूटली और इससे भी ज्यादा लाइक मैं आपको जो अभी हमारी सोसाइटी में जो चलता है स्टेटस सिम्बॉल तो आई एड ऑन टू दैट हाँ बिकॉज आई हैव आई हैव हर्ड दिस अलॉट और कई कईयों को वो जो हमारे फ्रेंडनीस टाइप होता है ना फ्रेंड कम हमारे अगर ऐसे दोस्त है तो खुदा दुश्मन की जरूरत क्या है तो लाइक अक्सर हमें जैसे मान लो कि आपको मुझे कुछ कहना है बट बिकॉज लाइक यू यू आर इन अ वे लाइक यू नो गुड टर्म्स बट आप अपने आप नहीं कहना चाहते तो आप किसी और का नाम लेकर मुझे वो ताना दोगे तो ऐसा मैंने बहुत देखा है कि हमारे सोसाइटी में ये है कि अपने बच्चे को आप जितने क्लासेस करवाते हो इट्स लाइक अ स्टेटस सिम्बॉल कि मेरा बेटा तो कराटे में जाता है आर्ट में जाता है स्विमिंग में जाता है डांसिंग में लाइक लेडीज मतलब अपने बच्चियों को बेचती एंड ऑल दैट तो इन माई अर्ली ईयर्स आई यूज टू हियर दैट क्वाइट ऑफ्टन की मतलब यू नो ये तो अपने आप में ही रहती है और ये पता नहीं बच्चों को बच्चों के पीछे कुछ ध्यान नहीं देती होगी करवाती नहीं होगी तो आंसर टू दैट इज कि लाइक जब आप अपने बच्चों को एक घंटा दो घंटा ये जो आप क्लासेज में छोड़ कर आते हो ना मैंने अपने पेरेंटिंग लेक्चर में ये चीज कई बार बोली है कि आप वो सारी चीजें करवा रहे हो जो शायद कभी आपको करनी थी जो आप शायद नहीं कर पाए पहले पांच साल पांच या छह साल तक तो आपको सिर्फ ये ऑब्जर्व करना होता है कि आपके बच्चे को किस चीज में इंटरेस्ट है उसके बाद उसके अकॉर्डिंग आप अगर उसको कुछ अगर फर्दर एनहांसमेंट इफ यू आर डूइंग मेक सेंस या चलो मान लो कि जैसे स्विमिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल गुड एक्सरसाइज गुड मतलब जो बोलते हैं ना कि हाँ स्विमिंग जैसे आना चाहिए If one or two classes like that, it's okay. But जैसे कि मैंने बताया कि इट्स अ स्टेटस सिम्बॉल की यहाँ जाता है यहाँ जाता है वट दे फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मतलब जितना टाइम मैं मेरी बेटी को कहीं बाहर नहीं बेचती हूँ उतना टाइम शी इज विथ मी आई एम इन्वेस्टिंग माई सेल्फ इन टू हर वो एक जो इमोशनल बॉन्डिंग जो बनाना होता है ना इट इज विद डेट अर्ली टाइमिंग आज मुझे पता है ना आई फील रियली प्राउड अबाउट माई डॉटर कि अगर मुझे हल्की सी जैसे छींक भी आती है ना शी लिटरली रंग्स ग्रेव टिश्यू बॉक्स फॉर मी कितने बच्चे ऐसा करते हैं तो ये जो मैं मैं हमेशा कहती हूँ और ये मैं लाउड एंड क्लियर सबको हिंदी में ये मैं कहना चाहती हूँ कि सभ्यता और संस्कार धरोहर में नहीं मिलते ये महाभारत का बहुत ही फेमस डायलॉग है क्योंकि आई एम अ वेरी बिग फॉलोअर ऑफ दैट कृष्ण गीता एंड ऑल तो हम उसको मैनेजमेंट परस्पेक्टिव से लेते हैं तो आपको बच्चों में ये कल्टीवेट करना होता है तो आई रियली फील प्राउड कि जैसे आप यू यू मस्ट बी नोइंग लाइक हाउ फजीटर मोस्ट ऑफ द किड्स आर यस इन दिस जनरेशन राइट मुझे आज तक याद नहीं कि इफ आई हैव टू कुक सेपरेटली फॉर माई डॉटर चाहे मैंने बैंगन बनाए हो या चाहे मैंने वो कुछ बनाया हो She eats everything. तो ये तो बस एक छोटे से एग्जाम्पल है इफ आई लिस्ट डाउन एंड इफ आई गिव दैट बैक टू देम लाइक टू यूर किड्स रियली डू दैट दे हैव नो आंसर दैट्स अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट यू रेस बाई बी ऑल्सो आई वॉन्ट एड यूर दैट यू नो हाउ वी टॉक अबाउट पेरेंट्स सेंडिंग देर चिल्ड्रेन फॉर अ मल्टीट्यूड ऑफ डिफरेंट क्लासेस एंड नथिंग रॉन्ग इन दैट दैट्स प्रॉबली सम पीपल्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ पेरेंटिंग बिकॉज एज अ पेरेंट ऑल ऑफ आस वॉन्ट टू डू द बेस्ट हम सबकी डेफिनेशन ऑफ वॉट अ गुड पेरेंट इज माई डिफर सो देर विल बी पीपल हु थिंक ओके चलो मैंने दस क्लासेस को भेजे दैट्स आई एम डूइंग दैट टू बिकॉज दैट्स हाउ आई सी माई सेल्फ बींग अ गुड पेरेंट बट एट द सेम टाइम वी ऑल्सो नीड टू मेक स्पेस फॉर द फैक्ट दैट अदर पीपल माइट बी पेरेंटिंग इन डिफरेंट वेज दैट मे नॉट बी आइडेंटिकल टू आवर्स बट दैट डजेंट मेक इट रॉन्ग राइट सो वो थोड़ा सा हमें एम्पति आना चाहिए कि आपके लिए शायद जो ठीक है is not always necessarily the the way other people want to parent and that's okay so uh, also you'll get a lot of unsolicited advice ki aisa karna absolutely. chahiye waisa karna chahiye sab ki suno apni karo type of thing right absolutely i i definitely follow that because as i said ki kai log apne ko jo bolna hai wo kisi aur ke naam se aata rehta hai so i listen but i do what i feel is right yes kyunki yes. hamare hamare wahan pe ek hamesha ye raha hai 
कि एक जो अपब्रिंगिंग जो रही है वो एक मेथड से रही है mm. आर्टिकल भी लिखा है कि ओर नेम यू आर सो बिजी हाउ डू योर चिल्ड्रन गेट एनी टाइम विद यू आई डेंट स्पेंड एनी टाइम जस्टिफाइंग एक्सप्लेनिंग गिविंग रीजन आई जस्ट सेट दे डू दे गेट टाइम बस उतना ही चाहिए राइट वी डोंट नीड टू जस्टिफाई एनी थिंग टू एक्सोल्यूटली एज यू राइटली सेट की क्वालिटी टाइम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइक स्टे एट होम जो पेरेंट रहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल डजेंट मीन की वो चौबीस घंटा पूरा क्वालिटी टाइम देते हैं और जो मेरी तरह वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल है और जो इतना कम्युनिटी में भी लाइक हेविली इन्वॉल्व है तो अब जैसे पता है इट्स क्वाइट फनी एंड यू माइट लाफ बट लोगों को सिर्फ सोशल मीडिया से जज करने की आदत है ठीक है तो यू दे दे सी यू एस की हाँ देखो साड़ी में बन ठन के लाइक like, बाहर है बट उनको ये नहीं पता कि घर आके बर्तन भी हम ही कर रहे हैं इसका होमवर्क भी मैं ही करा रही हूँ झाड़ू पोछा भी लगा रहे हैं घर पूरा नीट एंड टाइडी भी हम ही कर रहे हैं तो अब इसके फोटो खींच के कोई फेसबुक में लगाने वाला नहीं है राइट तो डजेंट मीन कि कोई ऊपर से आता है और घर के सारे काम करके चला जाता है ओके सो फ्रेंड्स वीव डिस्कस्ड कपल ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट इशूज बट नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू द क्रक्स ऑफ द कॉन्वर्सेशन एक बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट इशू दैट वेब वी एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू पुट द स्पॉट लाइट ऑन एंड आई एम श्योर मैनी ऑफ यू विल रेजोनेट विद दिस सो लेट मी जस्ट लीड इन टू दैट टॉपिक वेब वी आप आई नो दैट एंड यूव मैंशन दैट यू आर अ वेरी सोशल पर्सन यू आर आउट देर यू आर इन द पब्लिक स्पेस यू आर डूइंग लॉट ऑफ कम्युनिटी वर्क but your husband is a uh, more of a home body he prefers to be at home rather than out there so you go to a lot of events by yourself yes correct now let's talk a little bit about the problems that arise when a woman makes appearances at public events on her own several times in a row what are some things that happen in our social circle this is a really burning issue i would say and uh, it it actually happens a lot because and if i if i talk about myself it's it's absolutely something that i can talk that pretty much ye aisi baat hai ki people see me uh, all the time or or most of the time with my daughter so you know that gossiping mm. it's uh, starting ki like ha pakka inki marriage life mein kuch garbad hai and all that and as you rightly said my husband he's someone like ki as long as my parents are okay his parents are okay i am okay and our daughter is okay that's all he cares about anything else he doesn't really care <coughs> excuse me he's not even a social media person so he is not someone ki jo kaam like you know hame ghar ke andar karna hota hai like in fact out in a public he probably barely even holds my hand so wo itni matlab he is from south तो वहाँ पे मर्यादा बहुत ज्यादा है अगर मेरे पेरेंट्स घर में होते हैं तो ही डजन इवन होल्ड माई हैंड राइट तो ही समर लाइक दैट कि जो चीज जहाँ पे करनी है वहीं पे करनी है बट दिस इज अ लाउड एंड क्लियर मैसेज अगेन लाइक वेन आई एम आउट देयर बाय माई सेल्फ डज नॉट मीन एनी थिंग टू एनी वन दैट्स अ फर्स्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट से अनदर थिंग इज की लाइक इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट मैन और एनी थिंग ऑफकोर्स इट डज नॉट मीन एनी थिंग टू एनी मैन आउट देयर बट आई आई एम लकी इन अ वे दैट मोस्टली आई एम सराउंडेड बाय मेनी जेंटल मैन आउट साइड हु हु ऑलवेज लाइक यू नो हाईली रिस्पेक्ट यू एंड लाइक दे दे क्वाइट ऑफर वेर एवर दे कैन लाइक यू नो टू एनी एनी सपोर्ट यू रिक्वायर और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट बट अगेन एज यू सेट दैट्स नॉट ऑलवेज द केस बट देन अदरवाइज एक चीज ये भी होती है कि लाइक नॉट जस्ट मैन सबसे ज्यादा कभी कभी हिंदी में एक बहुत अच्छा वर्ड है स्त्री दक्षिणी है जिसे हम बोलते हैं 
Unfortunately, you want to translate for anyone who doesn't understand Hindi. What would we say for that? Stri Dakshinya is someone who really um, respect a woman at a very highest level. I would right. say, right? Okay. So that's something I have seen or I have experienced mostly from men instead of women. Mm. which ideally should be other way round but women are the first one to start gossiping about when they see you alone or and not just as that. in about oh what's happening in her marriage exactly. is everything okay she's always by herself exactly or like they mostly see me and my daughter but they rarely rarely see me but at the same time in our family function mm. we are always there together and in fact like see uh, as uh, most of they know like i do write and some special occasion every now and then I do post like our photos where necessary or required, but again, not everybody would be reading that. Mm. They just see me alone, and then you know that gupsha, that gossip. मुझे लगता है, I think a lot of people secretly wanted to become a detective one day, like you know the Nancy Drew Thomas, uh, what is it, the Hardy Boys kind of I thing. I know. A lot of people are thinking they're part-time detectives, and that there has to be something wrong if a woman is coming. Uh, alone or a man for that matter because you know i do know a lot of men who might turn up by themselves because maybe the wife is not interested exactly it doesn't mean that there is something wrong in the marriage we don't have to immediately start thinking that there is a problem and so what if there is i mean it is not a big deal but ye jo detective work that is happening constantly we really need to i think uplift the thoughts that we are uh, मुझे तो वो जब भी मेट का डायलॉग याद आता है कि यू नो अकेली लड़की खुली तिजोरी की तरह होती है एंड ऑल दैट विच इज लाइक अ हाईली बर्निंग थिंग इन द सोसाइटी राइट नाउ एंड स्पेशली फॉर यू कैन इमेजिन लाइक इवन दो आई एम वेरी लाइक यू नो हैप्पी मैरिड पर्सन बट इवन दैन इमेजिन फॉर दोज हु आर अ सिंगल मम दे फेस एंड दिस इज समथिंग लाइक आई हैव हर्ड अ लॉट फ्रॉम लेडीज अराउंड मी and there are a lot of like uh, these things happen but it's just like because you know our mindset how how it is and quite often things they don't really come out yes. but ideally it should people should really raise the voice on like some unwanted incident that may happen that i personally have heard from like you know a very close circle around me as well mm. but the people just like you know they get away with that because so a bit of flirting that happens i guess you know so if a person is a woman <laughs> arrives without a partner repeated or she is sing- single or recently divorced then <coughs> there might be this thing but here i want to also put the spotlight by baby on the on the difference between harmless flirting where somebody is just doing time pass kind of thing and uh, some more serious moves and the problem with that is you know many many people might feel threatened even they don't understand it is harmless flirting and they might uh, you know it can stress them out and it can Absolutely. become something that uh, you know that scars them so that's something we need to be careful about kyunki when you arrive alone it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you've got to got to start putting meaning to that that absolutely time. i mean like it's not something as as we said it does not mean anything to anyone whether that person is like you know happily married or single aapko kya yes that's right aapko kya how does it matter <laughs> exactly how does that matter to you you are out there in a community circle yes. like we respect you you respect us and that's how the thing work right absolutely. but then like as you as you said like regardless of whether it's harmless or harmful for me it's like stay in your limit right mm. and and not just that to be honest like uh, it's not a one way sort of thing because as i said like i have seen many gentlemen around me but on a on a other note or rather i would say on a serious note i have also seen sometimes that even ladies even they don't understand because i feel what what i have experienced in my like uh, i don't know how many years i have been into community mm. but as long as you are within your boundary i think like people respect that if uh, yes i mean <clears throat> if i am within my limit and then if something unwanted happening yes it's not something absolutely we can probably you know mm. take a control of but i have seen 70 80% time as long as i am in my limit i show others their limit where do they stand and where do i stand and like uh, you are in a right timing and everything yeah. then i think like things will stay within your control but not many ladies will also follow that and then they get into trouble yes. and then yes. i wouldn't necessarily then only blame one one party correct absolutely because you know sometimes things can go a little out of control and then when you back out it it creates even more problems so it's best like weber we said to to know your boundaries and know where 
where uh, a line does not get crossed. Yes, Anna? absolutely. So these were our main heavy duty topics and we're going to wrap up very, very soon with a rapid fire round. So just some light, oh, fluffy questions, surprising. some fun, fun ones that I'm going to. And uh, Vaibhavi is not aware of them. So we'll give her some grace marks if she has to think about the answers. But knowing Vaibhavi, I don't think that should be a problem at all. So Vaibhavi, first one. Okay. Dhokla or Khandvi? Khandvi. Oh, yummy. Of course. I'm glad I wasn't asked. I love both. But yeah, okay. You have to pick one. Yes, I, I love both, but Khandvi stays on top. Yes. Okay. I know you love wearing sarees. You've got an amazing collection and you look so elegant in them. So I'm going to ask you a question. Is Indian outfits or Western? Absolutely Indian. I am a crazy sari lover as most of people know. <laughs> Absolutely sari. No, nothing can beat that. It's such an elegant, I think it's one of the most elegant outfits. That six world. yard is like, I'm, I'm in love with that. <laughs> and you look great in it. So Thank keep, you. keep doing that. Um, another, an evening, what's your idea of fun? Okay, an evening at home with some homemade khichdi, a bowl of homemade khichdi, or out in the city at a fancy, noisy restaurant, maybe with a group of friends. I wish you would have asked me this probably um, 10 years ago. Mm. Then I would have opted like, you know, that friends uh, type of thing in a fancy, noisy restaurant. But I think like uh, uh, with this, like, you know, beautiful gray hair, I think I have entered <laughs> into the phase where... The wise I, phase. Yes, wise phase where I prefer like staying with family yes. or at home. And khichdi is, I, I absolutely love khichdi. Um, so and, and, and half the times, like, you know, that's, that's my dinner mm. as well. It keeps you light. So yes, I would... Probably go with khichdi. Yeah, I'd have a dollop of ghee in it as well. So. Oh yes, our khichdi I? is ghee ke without to. It's uh, incomplete. It's incomplete. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm a very, matlab, you know, I'm obsessed with ghee. Mm. Meri har cheez mein ghee hota hai. Yeah. Well, so, it's a superfood nowadays, so there you go. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, like, mere ghar mein tadka bhi ghee mein lagta hai, har cheez ka tadka. Yes. Except jab when I'm making uh, aata, jab hum banate, to usme oil dalna padta hai. Otherwise, mere ghar mein sara tadka, everything, yaha tak ki khakra ke upar bhi main oh, extra yummy. ghee laga ke. Don't talk about khakra. It's my absolute, I love it. I yes. just love it. Okay, lastly, a couple of things. What's your favorite cuisine? Has to be Indian because I'm Indian. very foodie, mm. very foodie. And in fact, like uh, um, Western part where like uh, jahan se main hoon, Gujarat, hamara khana, waise bhi, matlab, hum log, uh, raat ko bara baje bhi manek chok mein khane wale log hai. Right. But other than that, on a health perspective, um, I would go for South Indian cuisine because it's not something ki aap bana ke nahi rakh sakte. You True. have to make it on the spot. Yes. And being my um, health issues, the way I have to follow my diet, like mm. I have to have at least five meals in a day, like what thoda thoda jada bar yeah. mein khati hun, yeah. and has to be freshly cooked as well. Mm. So, mere ghar mein teen time, uh, this is another thing, like if anyone is here, inki, like you know, mere ghar mein teen time khana badda hai, or uh, <clears throat> main ye bhi bata do ki, even though I said ki my husband knows how to cook and all, wo raat ko ghar mein aate hi 8.30 ya kabhi kabhi 9 ko jata hai, to those who think, like yes, <laughs> I cook most of the time, you know. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And lastly, uh, you said favorite uh, cuisine is Indian. So can you tell us maybe one or two of your favorite restaurants here in Sydney? That's a toughest question. Mm. Um, but ha, ye hai ki out of no, uh, matlab, bolte hai na, ki the first thing that comes into my mind is like our own favorite Bhavachi that is in Parameta. Okay. Bhavach by Trambadia, if you are listening to me, you are um, absolutely rocking because uh, I don't know whether uh, most of the people know or not, but when we came Honorable PM here, we made food for them too. Wow. So you guys can imagine like how um, amazing that food is. And, uh, so but that's yeah, Bavarchi so in Parameta. In yeah? Parameta, yes. I think Grand Bavarchi is what I we know call. where I'm going for my next dinner. <laughs> absolutely. So that's the first thing first. I mean, like I, I love that. But other than that, um, jo adda jo bolte na, jase like ladko ka adda hota hai, waise hi hamare girls ka adda is like Bella Vista, honest. Mm. Jitne bhi matlab jase hamare artist, kalakar vagera jo bhi aate hain, we always make sure. Vikram bhai, if you are uh, watching to me, like your um, artist in Bella Vista is like I'm, I'm crazy for that. Some mouth watering, delicious food. Wo jo apni chaat vagera jo hoti hai, dekho, chaat papri and gold gappe and all. I'm so hungry now, Vaibhavi. I mean, after all this, I, I think know. I'll have to go out and have dinner very, very soon. But uh, thank you so much. I know you have a very, very incredibly busy schedule. You've made the time to come here and join us today. We've put the spotlight on some amazing topics. Thank you for uh, joining me in this, in this movement to create more awareness 
to spark more conversations and just to create a more positive society. No, it's absolutely like my pleasure, I would say, Neem, because as, as I said in the beginning, I always, like not a single post, I miss like a Neem's <laughs> post because Thank that's you. my first thing first in the morning. When I get up, even I need some boost, I need some motivation, <laughs> that's like a Neem's post. And uh, so um, it's like this Sydney Social Live has a great concept name kudos to you Thank because you. we are talking on few topics that nobody really wants to talk about yeah. but it's burning out there yes so very true. great job name and Thank i'm sure like we we look forward for more and more um guests and more and more issues yes. and i hope like people not just have uh the takeaway jo hum bolte hai na, ki out of this show, I hope the takeaway is not the problems, we all know the problems, is the solution, what we are trying to um, focus on. Also a little bit of awareness, we need to ask ourselves, am I doing any of these things? Am I asking people, you know, they put on weight? Am I asking people, you know, why the grey hair? Just to create more awareness as well, Kyunki hum, you know, people don't necessarily do it out of malicious reasons, we may not be even aware. Sometimes so, it's just out of curiosity as well. Like just say, koi log ka ye every month ka parlor ka wo fix hota hai. So they might be just asking out of curiosity. Yes. Why don't you do that? Yes. I'm like, ye mere jaise ki you said ki itne baal dhup mein sahay nahi hue hai. Ye mere itne saalon ka nichod hai. Yes. Like you know. Yes. And I prefer that way because see, this is another thing on the ending note. I would say is like ki mostly kya hota hai ki why people ask for this so the straight answer is key two things either you want the other party to say that you look younger than your age right <laughs> is this kind of like a compliment am i craving or like just say agar maan lo ki beti thodi badi hai so you are craving for like oh you do look like a sister like you know <laughs> And I am someone like that I am my mom and I am the biggest one in my mom and I am the biggest one in my mom and I am the biggest one in my mom. So I was someone like when I used to be like uh, 37 and all, I always used to say a round figure that I am 40, I am 40. Yeah. So I have always told you that I am the biggest one in my age. I am still like that. Yeah. Why even like you crave that someone will say, yeah. oh you look younger than your age. Validation, yeah. validation. Why do people need approval? True. Look, aging is a privilege. It is not something Absolutely. to be ashamed of. So thank you again. Thank you. Lovely, lovely viewers for listening and tuning in. Love you all. See Thank you next you. time. Bye. And there is an end button there. We need to click that. See you, everybody. Very, very soon. That was amazing.